uh, six or seven inches of snow out here. So we're going to take the, uh, the Polaris out and see what it'll do for snow removal. Um, just picked up this Polaris 850, and uh, this will be the first real snow that I've plowed with it. And uh, pretty excited to see what it'll do. We're going to get it warmed up and shovel off the front porch as it warms up and and uh, see how it goes. Here's the cover here. It's made out of a very nice polyester canvas type material. It's got some clips on there, but since I have the plow attached, I don't think it quite fits. But there is one, that, there's a strap that goes all the way across the bottom here. And there's one that goes across the back. And it does a pretty good job covering the whole thing up. I got definitely at least all the paint covered. And uh, a good portion of the tires as well. Um, I think it's a pretty nice purchase. Covers the handlebars really well. And here's the plow set up. I got the actual Polaris plow. That's the uh, 54 inch, I believe. Anyway, I just want to show that to you. Alright, I got it all uncovered. Um, it's probably about 20 degrees out today. And uh, this will be the really first cold startup. Let's see how it does. Swartzman Trail, Ultimate Trail Edition. Is here a new key? all uh, shoveled away let this idle and warm up a little bit still pretty new I'm gonna make sure you warm them up a little bit before you get on there you know, we're just getting to 102 degrees so it's probably pretty good to get started it's about four or five minutes of uh, idle time. All right, so the plow is pretty easy to operate. It just uh, hooks on those hooks there. There's one on each side. And then those silver hooks just hook into the frame right there. And then it hooks to your uh, winch to raise it and lower it. Uh, here's the uh, winch switch here. So basically up is up and down is down for the plow. So I'll press up, lifts it up. And then uh, this blue handle here is how you adjust the angle of the plow. So I'm gonna lift it up. <sighs> Give it a twist, lock it in, and see how she does. Always low range in plow mode. Right, I'm gonna set the plow down here. Let me, let me get out of here. Four by four probably would help too. <laughs> All right. So you can see my footsteps from uh, coming home from work today. But let's see how it goes here.
so far. I did a couple passes here in front of the carport. Got that pretty much cleaned out. I'm gonna make another pass up the hill again here. So we'll push down the plow. And here we go. Oop. All right, now we go. new phone and I'm not really all that used to using it yet here. <laughs> my, nice, my nice new trailer getting all snowy. Looks good. Done paying for plow work. This is the test right here I think and it's doing really well. Alright, be back. First break. Uh, somewhere right about there, there's a stump, and I didn't realize it, and I hit it pretty hard uh, going up the hill, and uh, sheared off this adjustment pin right here. So, looks like it's pretty easy to replace. I just don't know how hard it is to get the parts. Good thing is I got it's at least plowed enough that I can get cars in and out, and uh, maybe I can see if my neighbor will help me out and maybe give it a fix, at least temporary until I get some parts. All right, well, I guess it's better to break something as easy as that to fix than something else in the plow. Everything else looks pretty good. The pin was actually sheared off inside of the hole there and stuck. And I uh, just did a little more plowing to get it unstuck and uh, it, now it's just moving free back and forth. Everything else looks okay. The springs did a pretty big jump. I mean they did their job absolutely. And I'm glad it's something as easy as that is to fix. I mean I could probably just put like a grade 8 bolt in it get away for at least getting it, this stuff done on the driveway here. All in all, I'm really pleased. I mean, it's really doing a good job. Alright guys, all in all, did a really good job. It's just my own dumb mistake, not watching where that stump was and hitting it. It wasn't anything of the machine's fault, that's for sure. But it did a really good job. I have a pretty long driveway, as you can see, and no, no issues at all. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.